Oh yeah, it's Dave here. A uh, little bit technical stuff today. Now, you may or may not be aware that uh, when we're recording in Nandromeda, travelling about the place, we use these things. And this is the Insta360 Go 2. And if you know what it looks like, that's basically what it looks like there. Um, a little camera that slots into this holder. That itself is the camera. And just so you're aware, let's get it into record mode, which it now is. Yep. And that should be recording you, <laughs> what I'm saying and what, yes. So that's, that's that. And it works in this little case. The, uh, the case is a, a charger and it's got the units on it for, for working and so on and so forth. Now, that's all fine and well and good as it stands, except for one terrible error, as many people see it. I'm a Mac user and I use a MacBook Air. And those are the only two sockets it has. They are USB-C sockets. And the fact of the matter is, if you plug the charge case, which also acts as a kind of USB central for it, into your MacBook Air using that, which is USB-C to USB-C, you can't read the files of it. However, Insta360 have come up with something and this would be it. It's the USB power mount for the Insta360 Go 2 and that's what I want to talk to you about today. <laughs> So let's uh, get it out of its box. I've got to be honest and tell you, it's already been out of its box because I've been using it quite a lot. But it, it, it comes in a, in a box, that's about it. It's all you need to know really. And this, get that out of the way, this is the unit itself. Let's get a bit closer up on it. So here it is, and as you can see, it's fairly straightforward. GoPro style mounting lugs, a little clip to clip it in not that it really needs it and it is in fact magnetic so if we now just plop it in you'll see that there's a little rosette of gold contacts that matches up with the rosette of gold contacts there and that's it magnets in clip it up and there you go that's the power mount so you can mount it anywhere you like really and anywhere you like but then comes the clever bit when it all gets plugged in and for that I need to power the Mac up and connect it up so that's the Mac connected up now let's see what happens when we get plugged into this end And there's the little red light. The only thing I have to do now is press this to switch it on and it goes blue. And as you'll see, as it goes blue, it will, in short order, start the flash and you get another little buzz. And as it does that, you've actually got, and this is all in real time, the Insta360 icon on the desktop so let's open it and see what we see there's dsim camera 01 and we should have all pro vids that's good so let's now open up the insta360 studio import everything that it's just found and that's where i want to be i think yep let's go to 16 by 9 and play it and that's what I was recording earlier so there you go it works as designed that's rather clever you can then output it to anywhere you like it's got all of the usual stuff that you would understand here 
Stick it out in 4S, ProRes 422 if you want, H.265, H.264. Uh, pick a bitrate, 200 would be alright I suppose. And it's going to give you whatever it is you want to do. So it works absolutely perfectly. And it's brilliant. No more messing about having to bring out loads of God knows what in terms of hubs or anything like that. And the beauty about it is, is once you've uh, done with it, it'll keep it in charge. The other thing as well is, I don't know whether you might be able to see on the back of here, these are heat vents and they're all around um, and they're enti uh, uh, entitled. They're intended to help you vent the heat out of these things because they do get quite hot quite quickly. Um, I've, I've managed kind of 15 minutes without it overheating. Um, if you've got a bit of fan running up onto the windscreen, then it works that much better as well. Overall, what a brilliant idea. I think they're about 16 quid and I think it's great. That means I can now mount the cameras without having to worry about taking them out of the mount and slotting them back into the charging case while we're traveling along the place. Don't need to worry about that. Just need to press the buttons to set them away and that's as good as you need to be. It's brilliant. I quite like that idea. Um, and of course, you don't have to have your power connected but let me show you what I've done. You might have noticed from the little bit earlier on that uh, I was using um, blue leads coming away from them which indeed I am and they lead up to here where I've got a power pack and that basically is all you need a power pack or something that's going to give you your USB and then just follow that down goes down through there down through there and down to there and it's tiny it's not obtrusive it's not in my way i can see everything i need to see and over on the other side with jill's bit that's the same thing comes up there to here that's pretty damn good isn't it so what's me thinking well my thinking is what a brilliant idea I'm pleased I've got them. I've got two for recording from and one that just sits in my little bag so that I can read the files as and when I need to uh, read them. It's all you need to know. Thumbs up. Well done Insta360. Now include one of these with every go to and everybody will be happy, including me. Right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it of use. So until we see you next time, enjoy the roads. Enjoy the skies, but most of all, enjoy your lives. See you later. Bye.